Water Signs, your money forecast for the week of October the 23rd through the 27th has a tie to the Knight of Cups. Now, both of these cards are have ties to water. Uh, the Hangman particularly points to Pisces, but this could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, or just the traits of this night. Now, this is going to be a week where there's a lot of coming and going as far as emotional situations. Maybe you're getting some visitors. Maybe there's some invitations, some proposals, some offers on the table. Uh, this could be a week where money is going toward amusement or a holiday, um, you know, some kind of attraction that you have. For others of you, this is some alliance that you're forming. It's an agreement, a union of some sort, perhaps a new relationship. And it, it could center largely around some ideal, some vision that you have. This could be a week where, you know, if you are artistic or intuitive or you're dealing with situations that connect to uh, the emotions, the psychological uh, state of mind. So for some of you, this is tying into a tie to therapists or counselors, perhaps salespeople or emotionally oriented people, uh, you know, a week of new ideas and proposals and possibly getting some help through mediation, uh, human resources, perhaps, or something that's nonprofit or charitable or something related to the humanities or public relations. Uh, it could even be small business. So whatever it is, you're likely to have a tie to some business uh, venture that is people or personal growth oriented. Now, in the negative, this is somebody that can be just emotionally obsessed with what it is that they want, what they desire. Uh, maybe there's some escapist tendencies or, you know, being very artistic, you have a temperament that makes it difficult to hold down a job or deal with practical matters. Uh, maybe, you know, there's money going toward the wrong uh, amusement. Maybe, you know, somebody may be putting their money into drugs or alcohol. Uh, whatever it is, something about this week it holds a lot of seduction for you. And you may get more emotionally involved in a connection or a pursuit than you had anticipated. Uh, but it's also likely that you're involved in a financial situation where somebody's not putting all of their cards on the table. Somebody's not being completely honest. Now, this may be a partnership that you have with somebody where there's no accountability. No matter what happens, this person doesn't accept that it's their fault. Uh, somebody could be manipulative. Maybe you're in uh, an alliance where somebody's not right for you. Uh, so there could be some things that you have to confront this week that tie to betrayal or disappointment or perhaps a rival. Maybe you're frustrated because some of your demands are not being met or you've had a negative experience in a partnership in the past and it's making you difficult to trust this second time around. Uh, some of you maybe, you know, there's somebody that's, you know, trying to block your intentions. Maybe they're being vindictive or, you know, somebody's acting contrary to what it is that you actually want. So you may be confronting some dark or stressful emotions this week connected to cheating or duplicity or something, you know, somewhere somebody's a habitual liar. Now, what this card does give you is some kind of edge because the, the Knight of Cups is very intuitive. Again, he ties to the emotions, the psychological. So this is going to be a week where you gain an advantage by you know tapping into the, the psychological subtleties of a situation in order to get exactly what it is that you desire or for you to outpace the competition, outwit your competitor in some way. And this is better late. Expect delays and setbacks on your current plans or project. This momentary lapse allows you to refine and refocus your ideas for success. So there could be some kind of creative or artistic project that you're involved with, some kind of proposal or offer that you're waiting for, and there's going to be some kind of setback. 
but don't get discouraged. This is giving you time to improve it, to work on it so that it can be better accepted or provide some better terms for you. So this could be a week where, you know, maybe you've been holding yourself back. There have been, maybe you have been the cause of these delays and it's time to act or start something, or perhaps, you know, it's saying that there's a delay because it's just quite not the right time and timing is important. So this is a week about taking the initiative on something and understanding the importance of timing in doing so. Now, what is driving the situation is this hanged man. So you may be waiting on an offer, waiting on a proposal, or, you know, things may have hit a snag and you're in a lull period right now. Nothing's really moving forward. Now, it could be somebody's trying to change your mind about something, or you're trying to change their mind, or there's some changes to an agreement. So you're refining that agreement. It could be the reversal of something, where some Something was, you know, directed toward one partner and then it's going to change back and move, you know, come back to the other partner. So there's some kind of reversal that may be positive or may be negative, but there is a slowdown in the action and perhaps you are taking your time about something. Maybe you're testing out some new product or idea or concept. So you're in a testing period and you're learning what you can about a situation. And whatever you're involved in, it likely is taking some kind of sacrifice, some kind of commitment on your part. You're having to be flexible. You're having to adapt to new circumstances. Maybe you're willing to make these sacrifices. There's something larger at stake. But you're at a crossroads right now. And again, there could be something unexpected with regard to your domestic affairs or your career, maybe some changes, and you're having to give in to the opposing viewpoint. You're having to let go of your own personal will uh, in a situation. Now, for others of you, you know, you're involved with somebody who is not completely honest. There's a lack of commitment. There's a refusal to make some necessary sacrifices. And this could be a bad investment, some kind of poor financial decision, uh, somewhere where you feel a sense of false security and you're feeling dissatisfied. There's a lack of effort or you feel a sense of futility. You feel like you're stuck, that you're not moving. You're stuck in the status quo. Uh, and, and maybe you're tied to the past in some way and you want to get away from that. It could be that there's excessive conformity, trying to fall in line with something and denying uh, an aspect of yourself or your own desires. Could be some unrealized projects this week or some promises not kept. So there are some, some false, there's a falseness to your situation uh, this week. And what you're being required to do is become more objective. Uh, in spite of whatever may be happening, the key to you advancing is to maintain your composure. The more you can do that, the more you can be objective about your situation, uh, your connections, your circumstances, the more you stand to gain. And part of that is going to mean changing the way you look at a situation. A new perspective is going to help you make sense of whatever is going on so that you can make peace with the past in order to move forward. And again, better late than never, whatever this is, it's helping you refocus yourself in order to meet success. So you're going to greet the future with greater clarity, but it's going to require your patience, your effort, your perseverance, even to remain focused on the goal, to keep your eye on that prize. Now, some of you, you know, you're going to make some better, more realistic decisions in order to achieve your goal. And there could be people pressing you, trying to change your mind, trying to play guilt cards. But if you've been doing what you should, you should ignore that. Uh, because you need to be examining where you've been selling yourself short, where you've been making some unnecessary sacrifices, where you've been giving in, making concessions, and getting very little return out of it. So this is the week for you not to try to uh, avoid something. Again, it's a week of action, not to be passive. Uh, and don't take that path of least resistance or give in or sell yourself short when that's not what's best for you. Uh, this is about dealing with situations 
anything that you're overlooking, not attending to, is actually going to come up again in some other kind of form. So you may feel very motivated to move in a better direction this week, but you're going to have to check yourself so that you don't continue to fall back on old habits, old attitudes that hurt you. So this is a week of maintaining some strength, being powerful, uh, tapping into your self-esteem and knowing that you need to take some action. And again, whatever's happening, you've got this intuition to, to tell you what the next move should be. Now, this may tie to your creativity. Your creative ideas will yield benefit in the near future. Explore and allow your creativity to flow. Try new techniques. Experiment with new tools and genres in your work. So this could be a week where, you know, just thinking a little bit different, changing your perspective, changing some things up, experimenting, refining something, uh, even if that causes some kind of delay, is ultimately going to give you that success that you're seeking.